what's up dudes what's up what's up so um yeah uh i need to go get two things i need to go get my computer charger and i need to go get my um some paper and whatever so just hold it for hold up for one second i'll be right back Right. what's up guys what's up what's up what's up what's up back uh it's the super stream could you believe it i can't believe it i'm in shock i'm in utter and total shock i thought today was gonna be a normal day i thought it was gonna be a normal day today turns out it's gonna be a super stream today you guys like my new tablecloth that i'm rocking <laughs> you think it's uh you think it's pretty lit yeah <laughs> all right so let's see uh, no, this is not on my bed. <laughs> it's, it's, I've, I'm like moving. I'm in between places, so I'm just like, like at um at just like I guess a, a place that I'm renting in the meanwhile. And it's really lovely, dude. So like, it's really lovely. Um, you know, it's well furnished. But yeah, this is the table that I'm set up on. Yeah, and it's just this beautiful flower. Um, do this question. <laughs> you guys hate the background. Uh, let's see here. Do the question. What question are you talking about, bro? <laughs> Team of two men and two women be formed. There are four men and five women. That's a good question, Wiz. That's a really good question. Okay, so let's start the super stream with that question from Wiz. Because that's good stuff, man. All right. And I just want to work through it just because I think it's a good question. So let me rewrite it really quick so y'all are on the same page. Hold on, let me know my thing. All right, dudes. Um, Uh, four men and five women. Okay, this is a really good question. This is a really good question. Um, let's see here. <laughs> yeah, guys, can we get? Can we please get? <laughs> so yeah, let's just start this. Uh, let's just start this up. What's up, Venna? Let's just start this stream up. Uh, with this question because i think it's a pretty good one how many different ways can we select two men and two women from a group of four men and four women that's like the question all right oh is it blurry yeah How would we even do this one? Yeah, dude, in, um, that's funny that you say that. Like, yeah, there used to be a ton of like, not a ton, but there used to be other people making SHSAT vids like five years ago or whatever. 120 with the geek flake. Laurel's got 12. That sounds low, Laurel. Huh. Well, what are the answer choices, uh, Wiz? What you got, bro? All right, so I'm going to start doing this problem, and you guys can still submit answers or whatever. 120 is also not an answer choice. 40. Oh, what's up, Tenzin? 
four times three for the one plus four times four. Uh, yeah. Shod got 60. <laughs> you guys changed your names. That's hilarious. <laughs> Henry Pan. <laughs> oh, Pierre. Pierre's back in the mix. What's up, kid? And Venom's got 80. Dude, so many different... So many different answers for this one. 4, 6, 16, 60, and 240? Um, you shouldn't have to use the permutation formula. I don't think so, at least. Dude, a lot of people are getting different answers here. Whoa. Okay. So we have answer choices here. 4, 16, 60. That sounds best. And then 120. Rodney's got 240. <laughs> That's cocky. <laughs> All right, let me get some coffee in my system. This is like heinous. Like, so, dude, so many tutors did so many tutors today <laughs> in the chat. If anybody's looking for a tutor for the SHSAT, look no further than the chat. You will find a tutor to suit your. <laughs> you will find a tutor to suit your needs. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can go ahead and say it, Tammy. That's all. It's all good. Yeah, go ahead. If you if you got it, go ahead. I'm trying to like finish this coffee before I like pass out. Oh, my bad. D was 240. That's my bad. All right, chill. Oh, there's also E? What you got for E, bro? E is six? Oh, what? Okay. Whatever. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, that's, what, that's what's up, Tammy. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's that pick on the bottom right? Oh. Just of the, the mat on the like on my desk or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, G <laughs> What's up, Geo Tutor? What's up, man? Hello. Hello, fellow people. Why are there five answer choices? I feel like old, 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 S old SHSATs were C. Oh, Rachel's got B. Okay. Throw an older book. Yeah, I bet, bro. All right. So the first thing I want to do is talk about just the combination of two men picking from four. So if we have men A, B, C, and D, the order does not matter. So if we get A, we can have B, C, or D. We can have C or D. We could have D. This is all the combinations. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, cool. So we can do the same thing for the ladies too. Uh, we'll just call them this two, B, C, D, E. And we have to pick two. This could be B, C, D, and E. This could be C, D, or E. It's getting bad. This could be D or E. This could be E. And that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten possible lady combos. Okay. So guys, what do we do from here? That's the question. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> yep. So that'd be twenty, sixty, one twenty, divided by six. That's 20, whatever by two, that's 10, yeah. Dude, yeah, Tam, if you guys are looking for like the long way, to, not the long way, but like the actual like quote, quote, mathematical way to do this bad guy, Tammy is dropping some nuggets in the chat there. Um, but you gotta be familiar with factorials and all that stuff. Yep, yep, you multiply, yeah, dude, yes. So yeah, we get to 60, bang, really nice. Um, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff, bros. Um, yeah, so Tammy dropped some some knowledge in the chat there. Um, yeah, it's not a permutation. So the actual math is what Tammy is saying um, with like the factorials and stuff like that. But dude, if you even look at the back of SHSAT handbooks, like they'll do it like this. They don't even care. They're just like, I just want to do it straightforward in the most reliable way possible, right? But you can do like a lot of slick things, but like at the end of the day, it's it doesn't matter as long as you get the right answer. 
know what I mean? Yeah, and factorials are mostly SAT, ACT, and they're not even really that featured. They're kind of boring math things. Um, yeah, so it's it's a combination. How do you multiply factorials? Yeah, I'll go over this just because it, it might be interesting to some of you dudes. Like, if you have five factorial, that's what this is. This exclamation mark is factorial. And what that means is this is five times four times three times two times one. So not saying that this will be on the SHSAT. Chances are it will not be anywhere near the SHSAT. But if you see this, you won't be like tricked. And like a lot of times they give you problems like this. 5 factorial over well, 3 factorial and what that would equal would I'll do it out long way then I'll show you the short way right and all of these cancel out so you're just left with the 5 times 4 or the 20 um, a lot of times what they do is they'll do a problem where they're like um, 50 factorial over 48 factorial and you're like what? Well, how are you supposed to simplify that we'll just rewrite the numerator of 50 times 49 times 48 factorial all over 48 factorial these can cancel out and this would be your answer here i think that's something like i don't know uh, uh 395 295 i don't know i don't want to do that math so yeah that that's just generally how that goes down um but these won't be on the test like actually that's a really good transition we should talk about what will be on the test Oh, here's a really good problem. I think I, I, dude, I don't know if I've given you guys this problem yet, but here's what I want. I want, what is the answer to the below question and why? Oh, actually, I, don't, I want to do this on a different piece of paper. Okay, so here's the question. I'm going to pop it on the video. I not only want you guys to drop an answer, but I want you to tell me why. Let's go. Dude, yeah, I, I'm moving. All my grid paper is, like, packed away, so I just have to use whatever I can find. Oh. Yeah, I don't think it should be too quiet. Um shod i mean if it is just let me know i just don't want to like be like blow anybody's eardrums out yeah anthony yep yep that's what's up dude all right i'm not going to write the answers on this one though because i just want people to be able to just kind of stare at it Yeah, I'm moving, dude. This is a question. What is the answer to the blow question and why? And the question is not there. There's a question mark and there's five answer choices. The question is not there. So yeah, this is where the question would go and the question is not there. I know, I gotta keep you on your toes, bros. You guys have been crushing all of the problems I've been giving you. So I have to give you something that's like, hard or not <laughs> or too hard i don't know you guys will do great you can do it just listen to your heart yeah i have looked at the full first practice test in the handbook yeah sorry yep yep so so far we've gotten some really actually the right answer has been said um two people now have said it really nice sorry um yeah so I'll give you guys like 30 more seconds. <laughs> Skills, I think you're right, dude. It's one of those. <laughs> Just so smart, dude. 
<laughs> the answer is D. Why, Laurel? Why, Rachel? Why is it C, bro? Rodney's got E. Why, though? The question is blank. <laughs> okay, that's good enough. Two, two and a half minutes of torture. All right, sorry. <clears throat> so, this is the rule you have to know. Okay, so this is like a test prep thing that like most teachers don't cover because it's really a test prep thing. On every single question on the SHSAT, there is only ever one answer, right? Because if there was two potential answers, like then a parent can go in and just argue that their score is fraudulent. They could be like, um, oh, you know, I actually can say that this is the right answer. And so, you know, that means that this isn't actually a legit test. And so a lot of people have pointed it out. Anthony pointed it out, Siri pointed it out. Yep, April's pointing it out, yep. One fifth is the same thing as 20%. 25 is the same thing as five squared. So if the answer to the question, you know, if the answer to the question is like 100 minus 75, this would be a right answer and this would be a right answer. So what would the Scantron do? Like the Scantron would break or whatever. So since there can only be one right answer, our answer is C. Yeah. So that's how this one goes down. So this is what I'm talking about, man. There's only ever one right answer. And there's a lot of different ways to finesse the right answer out of a situation. Uh, this is actually more like applicable to like English and like ELA because, you know, a lot of times with the poems and stuff, they just say things the same way, but in different wording, you know? So yeah, that's how this one rolls, dude. So yeah, this one's kind of tough. <laughs> Okay, so I wanted to go over. I had pulled up these really, really, really old SHSAT handbooks because I've been saving these handbooks for like six years now. Like, dude, I've been like doing this SHSAT for like, man, almost, almost 10 years, bros. All right, so here's an old one. All the people that took this SHSAT have already graduated their high schools. That's how old this is. So they were in your shoes, but now you're in their shoes, I guess, if that's how that works. <laughs> the questions were a lot harder back then. Let's see. Ooh, this is a good one. Let me throw this one up. Do you guys mind if I use the back of paper? I think that's okay. And this is from such an old SHSAT. Like, this is not an original question. I always give props when I'm not using, like, an original one. So this one was from back in the day, like, five years ago, six years ago. Um, okay, I'll give you guys answer choices, too, because why not, dude? Super stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, dude, yeah, they actually have five answer choices. I were right. They used to do this. Thought I was going crazy for a second. And they used to do them in reverse order rather than, oh, okay. It's a little walk down memory lane, bro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not that it matters. All right. Let's kick it. I'll give you guys a minute and a half. We got to grind, bro. This is from 2013, 2014. An excellent year. An excellent vintage. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh. <laughs> Oh my God, the chat is so funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, these are super rare. I won't tell you my SAT score, but I will tell you that it was very high. And I got offered a job tutoring the SAT just by showing the tutoring company my SAT score. All right, so we got some answers coming in. I wasn't paying attention. My bad. Oh, man, it's moving too fast now. Geo. Skills. Dude, you guys are crushed. Absolutely crushing this. 
geek. Rodney. Yashin. Yeah. Dude. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Henry has no idea. Laurel. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Oh, man. It's going to be rough. Okay, Benna. Nice, nice. Jane. Dude, you guys are so good at algebra. Alicia. Dude. Neil. Laurel finessed it. I like that, Laurel. Dude, what did you do? What did you do to finesse it? Like, tell us, tell us. Chad, study. Dude, you guys are absolutely... Maybe you guys would have... Oh, shit. Maybe you guys would have obliterated the old SHSAT. Okay, that's time. That was, like, way under time. Do I have handbooks before 2009? Anthony, that's a good question, dude. I don't know. We got J.O. Jordan Jordano Jordan here. All right, nice. Um, Wiz, too. Dude. You're finessing and giving none of them? Well, Laura, what'd you do? How did you like reverse engineer this? Did I get Jane too? I don't think I did. Dude, good job, guys. You got absolutely obliterated this. Sorry, Rachel. All right, this is just an absolutely destruct. Do I even need to go over this? You cross multiply? That's cocky, Geek Fleek. I like that, bro. That four is four over one, so you cross multiply. Yep, dude, you guys are cross multiply. That's slick, dude. I like that. Okay, so I like what Laurel did too. If you guys are like not like catching how this works, like you could just plug in these answer choices. So Laurel just plugged in 11. So she got 55 minus three over two plus 11. And that's gonna be 52 over 13. And then 52 divided by 13, guess what? It's four. So yeah, that works. So yeah, you can definitely finesse it like that. So April, if you're gonna finesse it, oh, I see, I see, you made a little mistake while you're doing it. Yeah, that always happens, bro. Little red face, you got it too, bro. Nice, nice. All right, sick, dude. All right, I thought, you know, going back into the crypt, going, going, <laughs> going back into the archives, I'd, I'd trick you guys or whatever, but you guys are, you guys are ready for that. That was no problems. Um. Okay, here's another one that might be kind of interesting here. And these will get harder. I'll, get, I'll find harder and harder ones as we go along, dudes. So if you're getting like, if you're thinking this is too easy, just, just you wait, bro. All right, answer choices, because that's where we're at today. Thank you, Pearsons. Like, I got to definitely do a shout out to Pearsons, the people that make this test. I think they do a really good job. Like, I tutor a lot of different tests, and I think Pearsons really kind of, like, does a nice job at this stuff. But that's just me. People got their complaints. All right, let's kick it, guys. Okay. Yeah, this is the SHSAT from 80 years ago. Yeah, this one is from the 18, this is from the 1887 SHSAT, back, <laughs> you used to ride a horse to school, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's to the second power, yep, sorry, Alicia, yeah. Negative three, Laurel, that ain't an answer choice, yeah? 43 with Geo, Geo Leo, X does equal negative three. X equals negative three, yeah. That's a negative. My bad. No, yes, no. <laughs> so, dude, it's negative, guys. <laughs> it's, look at that, it's a negative. That's like a big fat negative right there. Um, Laurel's got D. Tammy's got the skills, of course. Geek Fleek, of course. You guys are always on point. Wiz, yeah. April, yes. Uh, study, yeah. Dude, I'm like kind of mad. I was hoping these problems would be harder, but you guys are like absolutely crushing them. Oh, Henry's on it too. What's up, bro? <laughs> I'm 
okay yeah i feel like everybody's got it i don't i still don't know why geo picked 43 um maybe he had a little bit of a mistake or something um <laughs> let's go over this one yeah i'm trying to conserve my paper i don't know if you guys know this because i didn't have or i was dumb i went to cvs yesterday and i didn't buy graph paper because i was just thinking about other stuff i guess whatever it's okay it's okay it don't matter all right so let's go over this one um <laughs> Uh, 4x squared plus 5x. There's really only one trick in this when x equals negative 3. It's this right here. So we have to do the order of operations first. Hold on one second. Uh, hold on. Let me actually fix my volume really quick. Okay, back back okay so yeah order of operations dudes so notice the first thing i do is just i always plug in i always just dip in when i need to dip in right and then i'm just dealing with order of operations and i can make sure that my subbing is clean and so of course we're going to do parentheses first nothing to do there pem dos exponents so we got to rock that up um and this is actually going to be positive nine a lot of people trip on that um this is going to be uh we'll just keep it plus for now whatever this is trash uh, negative 3 minus 8. So this here is going to be 36. That's going to be negative 15. That's going to be minus 8. So it's going to be 16 minus 8. 8? Wait, no, I did that really wrong. Uh, I guess I have to do the actual work here. 1, 21. So 21 minus 8. And you're going to get 13. Well done, bros. Well done. Well done. Um, Cool, man. Oh, good, dude. April, that's good, man. I've been trying to give you guys hard. <laughs> Geo. I'm just playing with you, dude. I know you got the right answer, bro. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing with you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So actually, that's that's an interesting question. So the way the specialized high school started was with Bronx Science, Stuyvesant, and oh man, I want to say Brooklyn Tech. Yeah, Brooklyn Tech, I think. So those were the big three. And then they expanded to seven um, eventually. And that's where like all the schools came from. Yeah. All right, so let's do another question from this, like from the way back, from the way back, bro. So these are interesting questions. They used to be like a lot more like logic based and stuff like that. I might even give you guys like a scrambled paragraph. Where'd I get that challenging water level problem from? What water level problem are you talking about, Anthony? Are you talking about the Ito or whatever? This is like homework for a, a student I'm, I have currently. Nice. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Um, yeah, they've been thinking about it. So let's see here. I get another question for you guys. Can I turn the volume up? Yeah, I can turn the volume up. No problem. Um, I just don't. Just let me know if I'm like absolutely blasting your eardrums now. Um, whatever. Okay, cool. Yes. Um, is city owned? Oh, that's interesting. Do you have to try in regular school if you get into specialized high school? What do you mean? You have to try in regular school? Yeah. Well, dude, I will say if you, oh, dang, if you do get into a specialized high school, that's not the beginning. That's like the, that's not the end of your journey. That's the beginning because it gets so hard. Um, so yeah, I try to make my questions harder than normal just to get you guys ready to rock. But sometimes the test is harder than the stuff I do, man. I can't like predict everything. All right. So here's an interesting question from back in the day from six years ago now, dudes.
Okay. Okay, chill. All right, guys, I'm going to give you guys like a minute and a half on this one. Good luck. Is 50 to 60 out of 3k that's interesting yeah i always heard it was like three percent oh yeah i do last year the i think the shsat was the easiest it's ever been like my students were getting the highest scores they've ever gotten last year Oh my god, you guys absolutely have been dominating this. Do I even need to go over this? Ugh. Dude, all right, I'm done. Next question, not easy anymore. All right? Yeah, they did make it harder by adding different genres this year. All right, I see you, Venna, Neil, Alicia. I got you. Let's see. So N plus M doesn't have T, and M plus T doesn't have N, so interesting. Okay, so yeah, we know that N plus M is odd and M plus T is odd. You have to ask yourself, what do you need to do to get an odd number? Because even plus even is even, odd plus odd is even. So you need an even plus an odd. So that means if N is even, M is odd. And if M is odd, then T is even. So if N and T, are even that means m is odd is is odd but if n or t is even or is odd both are odd numbers then m is even all right that's like the logic behind this so n plus t n plus t we saw even plus even is even odd plus odd is even so yeah you absolutely dominated this dude dude <laughs> Wow, <laughs> that's so good. All right, I'm okay. All right, I'm done. I'm done giving you guys easy questions. I'm sick of it. I got to give you something that actually challenges you. Ooh, and do I have, ooh, do I have a question for you guys? I think this might be it. I'm gonna use the back side of this homework that I gave my student. So if you're my student and you're watching this, do your homework, okay? <laughs> okay so all right so can you even see or is it just like so pink from the pen that i used it might be so pink but you guys can um i want to make it as nice as possible for you dudes even though because i was the one that was lazy and should have bought more graph paper but that's just me okay let's see here um something like this i don't have my ruler it's in the back of a huge u-haul truck right now so this is my life, um, but I'm not gonna stop streaming. I cannot, I can't stop, won't stop. Oh, speaking of, if you guys haven't liked the video or if you haven't subscribed to the channel, super appreciate if you can. Um, yeah, you don't need to like buy tutoring or buy any of my test books or whatever, but just by sharing the page and liking it like and subscribing, that's like, that's like the biggest thing you could do, so. Uh, definitely appreciate all those homies who drop likes and who are subbed to the channel. 
for these crispy crispy live streams just the crispiest like i don't i don't want to give you guys any trash here i don't want to waste your time okay so in the figure above what is x equal <laughs> and let's say that's like that and like that's like that all right let's get it wait let's get right. let's get it <laughs> coffee time oh nice Who told you that, Shad? Yeah, who told you about the uh, open response? That's kind of crazy. How would they even do that? Yeah, dude, please help. <laughs> please help me beat T-Series. <laughs> oh, that's right. I was going <laughs> to... I can still have to make the live counter for me versus T-Series. I'm going to get this. It'll be the race to 111 million. Anthony's got an answer, but good. I hope this is hard. You guys have just got done cru absolutely crushing the last four or five problems. So it's time. April's got five. Got you, April. I got you. Geo's got five. Tammy's got five. Okay. Got crunchy. Laurel's got five to four, what? I'll assume that's a five. Is that one X? Yeah, that's just an X and that's one centimeter right there. This is just an arrow pointing to how long it is. I just made it look worse, but yeah. Just showing where the, the boundaries are of the distance there. Uh. <laughs> How did I get these old tests, Sherrod? Dude, that's just been in, I've just been in the game and I've just been every year when they come out I download them. So that's why I got them. These very very rare, very rare. <laughs> All right, everybody's coming in with the right answer now, more or less. Okay. Neil, I got you. I got you, Neil. <laughs> Rodney. All right. Finally. Yes, I finally have a problem that swerved you guys. All right. So whenever you have similar triangles, how do I know that these are similar? That's long enough. Two, two and a half minutes. Long enough, dude. I've been working with pacing with a lot of my students now. It's crazy. Once you start throwing in only having a minute and a half for each problem like you like crazy stuff happens man you get the, the easiest stuff wrong right yeah well april you gotta check your work homie that's just how it is no i can't change your answer geo <laughs> that's twice now that's twice now dude uh, what's that tight right now okay so let's <laughs> all right Oh, does Laurel have both choices? Oh my god, how did I let her switch? That's terrifying. Okay, so let's go into this. So we're dealing with similar triangles. How do I know? Because whenever you have similar shapes, that means all the angle measurements have to be the same. We got a 90 here and a 90 there, legit. These both share this angle. So obviously the smaller triangle and the bigger triangle have this angle the same. And so since this triangle has two angles the same as this triangle, we know the third angle is the same as well. So yeah, bros, we're dealing with similar triangles here. So whenever I have similar triangles, you know, I separate them, dude. You just gotta separate them just to give yourself a little bit more kind of room to play. So we know that this is four. So you have to ask yourself, how do I get from 0.8 to one? Or how do I get from one to 0.8, right? Um, Cause this would be X. So to get from one to 0.8, you have to multiply it by 0.8. So whatever X is, I'm gonna multiply it by 0.8 to get four. So X times 0.8 equals four. 0.8 X equals four. 0.8 X equals four. I'm gonna divide both sides by 0 0.8, 0 0.8. You guys gotta be legit at long division. Uh, that's a radical sign but y'all know what i'm talking about um so it's four 
divided by 0.8. I'm going to scoot this decimal place over because that's just how I like to do it. Scoot this decimal place over too. So how many times does 8 go into 40? 5. So we know that X is 5. A lot of people put 5 as their answer choice. Y'all got trapped because we just want how much is left over overhanging on this bad guy. So yeah, it's going to be 1. Yeah, this is not good. Yeah, good job, bros. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what's up. Oh, yeah. Dude, who wants to guess when the static will begin? <laughs> who wants to guess when the static will begin? I think it's going to begin in 12 minutes. That's my guess, if I had to guess. Um, okay, let's do some more problems, dude. Let's do it. Yeah. What's up, Rachel? Yeah, what's up, Rachel? Okay. This will do. Mm. Hmm. Wiz thinks it's uh 649, but I think it's going to be 652, bros. <laughs> It's going to happen. We'll see who wins. Who wins the bet here? Um, okay. 655-ish. Okay. <laughs> Do you feel it, Wiz? <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see this here. Uh, where's my questions? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Alicia's got 651. We're going to see because this is a new this is a new setup I got going on here, bros. So All right, let's see if I can get a harder question for you guys. You guys absolutely Oh my god, that's a really really hard question. That's a really hard question. Should we just do this? You want the old tests? I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to give them out just because it's they're hard to come by, apparently. Um, God, these questions are hard, some of these. Hmm. Okay, let's do this one just because I think this one is so heinous. So this would be like a ninth grade style question. This could even be an eighth style question, but here we go. Volume equals one third K squared h okay Okay, this is a hard question, but this was in the old SHSAT, so let's get it. Anthony, no way you have this answer already, bro. That's crazy. All right, I got you, though. I'll give you guys like two or three minutes for this one just because I think this one is so crazy. Like this would be like an SAT style question as far as I'm concerned.
Yashin, I got you. Neil, I got you. Yeah, I don't know, Laurel. I would just check your work, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll give you guys like a minute and a half more. So if you're grinding, keep grinding, bros. Ooh, ooh. Skills. Ooh, skills got C. Kind of cocky. I like that. Juan, I got you, dude. Geek, I got you. Wiz. Laurel. Laurel, I already got you for an answer, yeah. I already got you for B. That's a trap. <laughs> How I felt in my school. Yeah, Laurel. It's D, boys. Let's go, boys. Rachel? I don't know what the answer is. Okay. All right, I'm going to cut it off. Well, actually, no, I told you guys I'd give you three minutes, so I'll give you 30 more seconds. And then hopefully we'll get into some robot voice really soon here. <laughs> uh, right, where's my coffee at? Oh man, what a day, bros. What a day. You guys all having a good day? Leave a like if you're having a good day. Subscribe if you're having the worst day of your entire life. <laughs> Geo, I got you. Okay, that's enough. Enough. Finish him. So we need to keep this in perspective because this is going to be the old guy. And then we got to see what we do to the new dude, the new dude. So R is now going to be R divided by two and H is now going to be two H. All right. So here's the old equation just for reference. Um, I'll put it right here. So I'm going to sub in now. So I'm going to say this is the V and this is the new V this is like a subscript. You can just kind of like write on to it, you know, <laughs> that's funny. Okay. And then we're just going to plug in one third pi. So whenever we see an R, we're going to put that R over two, R over two or square it. That's what's up. Then we, whenever we see that H, we're going to put two H. Okay. So this is going to be the new one. So V new. Yeah, is one third pi. Now I'm going to square this. R squared over four times two h. Okay, so now I'm going to start consolidating up in here. R new equals one third pi. Um, and then this would cancel, so this would turn into a two. So it'd be R squared over two times h. So now to get it to look like this equation, I'm gonna multiply this by two, and I'm gonna multiply this by two. So two of the new volume equals one third, this two and this two, because it's two over one, cancel out, pi r squared h. So here's our old one, here's our new one. We can compare them here, because since this equals the equation, and this equals the equation, right? We know that this has been doubled. So what is the ratio of the new volume to the original? This is the original to the new, bros. You're so close. Did all this good work, but it's in the new volume to the original. This is the OG, this is new, so it's gotta be two to one. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah, where's the static at? <laughs> it's like I'm almost disappointed now. All right. All right. All right. All right. Um. Oh, dude. Hold on. Oh no. So let's see what other piece of paper I got. All right, we can do this. Yeah, that's good advice, Danny. Just be yourself. Always being yourself is the best thing you can do, except if you need to lie to people. All right. So, that was a hard question, dude. Really, really nice, man. Oh, sorry, Jordan. I didn't catch your name. Sorry, bro. I'll catch you next time. I'll catch you next time. All right. These questions are so hard compared to other questions. Ooh. Okay, okay, that's, that's a little song I just made up. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> okay, okay, these are, these classic, are classic problems. problems. So, so <laughs> what was the static file? <laughs> Disappointed that it did. <laughs> Good job, guys. Good job. I cannot wait to go to Area 51. Um, Area 51? <gasps> Dude, Area 51? Whoa, hold up. Area 51? The static is at 52. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> wow dude the numbers are all making sense now oh it was in front of my eyes the whole time i didn't even realize it everything is so connected <laughs> okay all right is it still staticky do i need to like bang on my microphone more or bang on ops oh it stopped okay legit all right <laughs> all right okay so let's see Oh yeah, this dude, these are the ones that I wanted to, <laughs> these, are the, <laughs> these are the ones that have been in the SHSAT forever, forever. So this question you're going to do, people who are currently in college had to do to get into their SHSAT. So I'm not, I'm not fooling around when I say these questions are legit. Here we go. And I'm copying this word for word, you know, shout out to my boys at Pearson's. Um, please don't sue me. <laughs> I just want to help people learn. <laughs> uh. That's actually not a correct comma. I changed the question a little bit because I got bored of writing it. I probably shouldn't have, but whatever. All right, can you even read that? Yeah, you guys can read that. All right, let's get it. Maria is now 16 years old. In six years, she will be twice as old as her dog in human years is then. So her dog, she will be twice as old as, you know what, actually, let me just rewrite this. I was like trying to be like cool with it, but like, I think I just made it even more hard. All right, hold on. Because I was just thinking, I put dog and then I was like, wait, every year for a dog is seven years. So like that makes this problem like almost impossible. All right, hold on.
All right, let's get no answer choices. You guys are good. Let's rock. Oh, dude, you guys are already how? Okay. All right, see you, Neil. Thanks, Tammy. Yeah, dude, thanks, Jordan. I'm trying to get to a thousand subs. Really bad. <laughs> yeah. Like, I was thinking if, like, I charged my hourly rate for all of these live streams, like, I don't even know how much money that would be. It's, like, crazy. Benna. Venna, that's a chill name. I like that. Venna. That's cool. Laurel. Redwan. Twelve and six years. So seven? Sorry, April, I already got you for five, yeah. Henry Pan. All right, so that should be enough to do this problem. It's about a minute and a half after I rewrote it. Oh, Jordan, I got you. Alicia. Yashin. Okay, you guys are all coming in with the answers here. What's up, Yeet? Skills. Okay, how is it five? Good question, Tammy. Let's, let's cut to the chase then, shall we? All right. <laughs> give me all your money yeah just sub to the channel man i just appreciate you guys coming out to the chat that's like awesome working with you guys it's been cool geek i got you all right all right so let's go through this system of equations m is 16 years old in six years so it's going to be m plus six she will be twice as old as her brother is, so that's her bro plus six, and he needs to be twice as old to equal how old she's gonna be in six years. So we're just gonna sub in 16 for M. That's all we're doing to this problem. 16 plus six equals two B. I'm gonna distribute this guy right here. Bang, then bang. Then we got 22. And do you guys see how I'm like going super, like every step I do is methodical? That's not just because I'm teaching you guys. This is legit how I do algebra because I don't like making mistakes in algebra, dude. Uh, 12, 12. So 10 equals 2B, B equals 5. Bang, bang, bang. The party's here. Well done, bros. Well done. Oh, and you two skills. Well done. Yeah. Okay. So that's how you get this one. So this is from five years ago. They've been doing age games for so long, dude. You guys were like, like, like not even you guys didn't even know what the SHSAT was and they were doing these age games. Ooh. These are so good. These questions are so good from back then, dude. Huh. That's a good question. Dude, really good questions here. I want to do all of these. But I can't. Ooh. Okay, this is a good one. Because if you know, you know. And if you don't, you're going to get. Uh, what does this say? No, I need this. I had paper. I did have paper at one point in my life. Okay. This is a good one. Okay, here's the question, guys. Let's get it.
Yo, give yourself a high five if you've been in the stream for the whole hour. Good job, bros. Way to fight through that static earlier. I know a couple of you guys didn't make it, but, you know, we'll, we'll keep doing math for our fallen brothers and sisters along the way. What's up, Chad? Hurry. Yeah, dude, this was from an SHS. This is legit from a real SHSAT six years ago. So, like, this is how hard it used to be. Uh, yeah, there is a shortcut for GCF. We're about to cover it, my dude. So, just stay tuned. Yeah, definitely a high five yourself, dude. If you stuck around the whole hour, you could be doing anything. You could be watching videos. You could be listening to music. You could be drawing. You could be just surfing the internet. You could be doing anything today. And you guys are studying, which is legit. Okay. Laurel's got the uh, first offering here. And Skills agrees. Skills tutor. Zach. No way you've seen this before, Zach. Have you really? I mean, it's public information. It's like, makes sense if you've seen it. Yep, Chad, that's what's up. So, Factor Tree, guys. If you need a hint, Chad, just drop one. Factor Tree. Geek. 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 We got Rodney up in here, too. All right. <laughs> yeah guys listen to Wiz subscribe or aliens will take you also if you leave a like if you haven't already um, yeah super appreciate you guys even just coming on to study though that's that's all I really care about alright Jordan's on this too Ben is on this guys it's just all agreeing with each other basically Yashin Okay. Yeah, thanks guys. Yeah. All right. Definitely uh absolutely smash that like button. Um if your mouse doesn't explode when you smash that like button, you probably didn't do it right. <laughs> I can't tell you how many how many mouses I've gone through. Like you find a YouTube channel you really like and you just smash that like button so hard that you just like obliterate your mouse. <laughs> okay. So let me show you guys in a really easy way how to do prime factorization. So let's do kind of an easy one that we all know. Like what's the prime factorization of 30 and not prime factorization of 30, 40, and 45. But looking greatest common factor here. So the way we break this down is by a prime factor tree. We know this is going to be 3 and 10. We know that's going to break down into 5 and 2. We know that this is going to be... Uh, 5 and 9, and that's going to break down to 3 and 3. So what you do, once you have all your primes up in the mix here, these are all primes, you find the matching ones. So both these guys have a 5, so we know it's going to be 5 something. Both these guys have a 3, so we know it's going to be 3, and the answer is 15. That's the GCF. So we're going to do the same thing for these humongous numbers here. Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> all right, so I think this could be divided by three again. I'm doing this all by hand, guys. It's important that you get used to doing your stuff by hand, even though it's like, yeah, you can save some mins on the calculator or whatever. Do it by hand. I'm telling you, you will be so, so happy that you did. Um, uh, eventually you will, just uh, not in the moment. 189, that's gonna be 63. So it's gonna be three and 63. Um, this breaks down into 9 and 7, 3 and 3. This is... Wait a minute. That makes no sense. Oh. Duh. It's a 3 here. 3 here. So that's a 1. Always check your work, bros. Always check your work. Um, so 51, area 51, Illuminati confirmed. Um, that's not a prime number, is it? I feel like I did really bad here, dudes. What happened? Oh, 
Oh. Three can go into this. Duh. Three and 17. Okay. So we have our prime numbers here. Dude, this problem took a lot longer than I expected. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. All right. So here we go. We know that what do they have in common? They have each have one three, two threes, three threes. It's going to equal 27. The absolute 2000 IQ people in this chat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I forgot your name again, Neil. Sorry. <laughs> I feel like I always put it, dude. I always put it. <laughs> oh, sorry, April. <laughs> sorry, I'll get you guys next time. I promise. I promise. Okay. Yeah, that was a good one, dude. Mm hmm. Uh. Questions are crazy. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, this is a good question. Let's do this one. Not to get deep on you guys, but my life is scrap paper right now. Um, hold on. It's happening. It's happening. Just hold on. <laughs> okay, we can do this. Even though there's like a ton of writing on the other side, we can do this. All right, let's see here. Noise, noise, noise. Yeah. Uh, you guys are talking about choices. That's actually an interesting topic. Like there's two schools of thought. One is that you list the schools that you just want to go to. The other, you list the absolute best schools you could think of, like put Stye first. Because what happens if you just end up really crushing and you get to go, you can go to Stye. You know, some people actually don't like that. Some people wouldn't want to go to Stye because of how competitive it is and because of how academically rigorous it is. So like, just think about what you want out of high school, dude, because just because you go to a specialized high school doesn't mean you're going to be smarter than you would have been anyways, but you will be around other people who actually care about school and like school and are working hard. And Stye just happens to be just the most intense version of those kids. Like I have a student that went to uh, the high school of math, science, and um, engineering, and he loves it, dude. He's like, it's legit because if he would have gone to Stai, it would have been too intense and he loves math and he loves engineering and he loves architecture and stuff like that. So it's like perfect choice for him. So yes, think about what the best school you could get into, but at the same time, also like, also think about realistically, what do you want in the next four years? You know what I mean? Like that's like a huge chunk of your life. So just, you know, think carefully, bros. That's just life decision, bro. That's just life decision. All right. So here's the question that I thought was pretty legit because uh, it reminded me of like a hot dog and I love hot dogs. All right, so here we go. Okay, that's really good. Really good here. Looking, looking great. Wow, beautiful. What an absolute beauty. Yeah, you guys can see without graph paper how absolute trash my... <laughs> My free hand is. <laughs> okay, so this is five. Okay, this is 50 centimeters. Centimeters. Um, okay, so again, this is from my boys at Pearson. Shout out to Pearsons. Please don't sue me. Please give me a job. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so 
area of triangle A, B, E is 25. All right, let's get it. I'll give you guys like three minutes on this one because I think it's a good one. Let's rock. You geometry. <laughs> what is that, five? Yeah, that's five. This is five centimeters. And then up top, it says 50 centimeters. Oh my God. Oh, uh, <laughs> dude, you, you guys absolutely crushed this. <laughs> what? <laughs> I cannot write everybody's answer. Every, <laughs> there's too many correct answers. I'm so mad. <laughs> How did you all get this so quickly? <sighs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go over this one. I'm not gonna go over this one. <laughs> okay, here's a harder one. Here's a harder one. I'm not gonna go over this one. Oh, you did this one in cons? Huh. Maybe they got the old uh books too. I don't like using them just because um it's not relevant anymore. Like, would you go back in time to, like, see what the requirements were for pilots in the 1920s? Like, things have changed. So, the way that they test people have changed. So, yeah. I mean, you guys absolutely destroyed that. Pat yourself on the back. Well, finger claps for you, bros. <laughs> All right. Here's another question from an actual SHSAT that I want to see if you guys can hang with. Um. And I'm not going to let you read it as I'm writing it, because I think that's why you guys crush it so fast. All right, here's your question. Firefighter sprayed a not oh, eh. <laughs> sorry. It's like a new table, dudes. I'm not hold on. I'm not used to it yet. Okay. Firefighter sprayed a nine inch thick foam layer on top of a burning rectangular region ten yards wide and ten or and fifty yards long. What volume of foam was used? Ye You guys can do this. What could your teacher not explain? Uh, and guys, I want your answer in cubic yards. That's what I want the answer in cubic yards. Just so y'all know.
give you guys one more minute on this. Only one part of the problem showing? No, I got all of it showing, dude. It might be your screen or something. Okay, I'm gonna go over this now. All right, so check, 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 check it out. Check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. All right, so let's go into this question. Um, whenever you're dealing with dimensions, you want to get all your dimensions to be the same before you do any equations, okay? So if we need to end up in cubic yards, we're in yards here, we're in yards here, we have to be in yards here. So we know that this nine inches, as far as feet go, nine inches over one foot, or nine inches, we'll just do nine inches straight up. And we know one foot equals 12 inches. So this is nine out of 12 feet. And then if we need to put it into yards, we know one yard is three feet. So this is nine thirty-sixth of a yard. That's the inches of it. Uh, we can definitely reduce this to one over four yard. And that totally makes sense because how many inches are in a yard? 36. So this can do it four times, right? So then we're just gonna do our volume equals length times width times height. I'm gonna plug in what we know. The volume equals the length, 50. The width, 10, don't be dumb, Tyler. And the height is 1 fourth. So what we get is volume equals 500 times 1 fourth. Our volume is gonna equal 125. Oh yeah, nice. Well done, dude. Well done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nicely done, dude. Nicely done. That's awesome. Really good job, bros. Really, really good job. Oh yeah, the dude. The tax is hilarious. The tax has an estimation estimation part in their math section. So like, here's a math problem. What do you kind of think the answer might be? Kind of. <laughs> But yeah, they're not actually the tax is interesting though because they don't measure like how good you are at like like normal school stuff. They're like trying to really figure you guys out like interpersonally. It's like it's an interesting test kind of actually. I've tutored a lot of kids in it. Why is your answer XD? I don't know. Do you put XD, bro? <laughs> if this was a grid in, you could put XD. XD XD XD. XD. <laughs> uh, gosh, that's funny. All right. Let's see here. Ivy League High School. All right, so that was a hard one, I thought, but you guys absolutely crushed it. So let's see if I got something even more difficult for you guys. Ah. La 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 la. Daquan. Hmm. Interesting. These questions are so cool. All right, let me actually go to a different. All right, welcome. Welcome, guys. We are leaving behind the 2013-2014 handbook. Leaving it behind. Goodbye. 
we are now heading to the 2014 2015 student handbook what a time to be alive all right so let's pull up some questions from this guy oh, is it really static don't play <laughs> oh no <laughs> okay let's see <laughs> Oh, ooh, is that a good question or what? Um, that's too easy, actually. They didn't really, it's kind of funny. They didn't really used to do geometry that much, did they? But now I feel like they're, they are. Oh my gosh. I can't draw that. I wish you could see how fast I'm like scrolling through all these problems. Like, brrr. Oh, what is that? What is that? Oh my gosh. Ooh, that's a good one. Let's do this one. I like this one. Okay. Okay, here's the question. Here's the diagram. That's all the information you get. Let's go. I'll give you guys another minute on another minute on this. So check your work. Always, always, always check your work, dudes. Because it's not good enough to be good at math. You have to be precise. Precise. That's so important. If you've played Deep Mind, you know how important that is. Congratulations, you played yourself. <laughs> Dude, that DJ Khaled might have set a record for the fastest a meme ever died. Okay, these are coming in way too fast. Neil, I got you. I got you, Neil. Eat. Okay, study. Study. Wiz, I got you. Jordan Shod. Okay. Zach. <laughs> oh, sorry. What'd you put, Jordan? What'd you, what'd you put, dude? Sometimes the chat just moves so fast that I'm just like, I just like, I struggle to keep up. Okay. Venna's got 42. All right, let's go over this one. That's enough time, bros. Okay, look at all the answers, man. It's just like craziness. Okay, zoom out. All right, so check the fresh, check the fresh. We're dealing with a triangle here. So to solve this, um, let's just deal with the triangle. So if this is 40, that's 40. Uh, this is gonna add up to 180. So 180 minus 45, you gotta borrow five. That's now a seven, so we got a three. 135. So we already know that y is 135. That's a solid start. And this is going to be 45. So 
what is that going to be? 40 plus 45 is 85. Subtract that from 180. And what we're going to get is 95. So that's 95, which means that this has to add up to 180. So 180 minus 95, we really don't even have to do this because it's 85. What is 135 minus 85? Bang, bang. Fitty. Well done, guys. Well done. Yes, yes, good job. Good job, everybody. <laughs> yeah, dude, I, okay. It's very, very tight right now between me and T-Series. Right now, I think they have me for by about 103 or 104 million subscribers, but I'm not discouraged. The race to 111 million subscribers is on. <laughs> I just need a couple more subs <laughs> just to beat T-Series, and then, then it will be okay. <laughs> How did I get 85? Well, this is 85 because that's 40 and they're opposite angles. And that's 45 and opposite angles. And all three angles of a triangle have to equal 180. So this 45 plus 40 plus whatever this number is equals 180. And that's how we got 95. And then if this is on the same straight line, that means it has to equal 180 as well. And then I just did the subtraction. And I got 85. So I know that X is 85. I know that Y is 135. And then I just do the subtraction that's what's up yeah yeah they're not parallel they're not parallel yeah i love that <laughs> dude who can get to a thousand first me or t-series <laughs> yeah i just i just need a couple more subs for show <laughs> uh, that's funny okay yeah <laughs> okay maybe i should be playing minecraft instead maybe i should just be playing PUBG, and that way i can actually actually get some subs because then it would be a channel yeah april the answer is 50 all right let's see if i can get another one of these hard ones i kind of like going to these like old tests oh wait just because it's like i don't know it's like challenging dude like some of these questions used to be really really tough even for me and i like tutor this and I'm just like, ooh, that's like tricky. You know what I mean? Let me let me see if I got some more, got any more sauce for you guys from this test, or if Pearson has any more sauce from you guys. And I feel cool giving you guys these questions just because this test is so old that it's just like, um, ooh, that's a good one too. I'm getting a lot of good questions. I just don't have a lot of good paper stuff. Okay, I gotta move on to this paper. Uh, all right, these look like actually important pieces of paper, so I'm not going to use them. Ooh, this is nice. Okay. All right. So you guys want to work on rainbow paper or cloud paper? <laughs> Let's start with rainbow paper because uh, I only have one of each. All right. Uh, how long am I aiming for? I don't know, dude. I, I feel like I'm like getting the end of my stream right now, but I'm going to push. I'm going to keep pushing. So we'll see how many I actually end up doing. All right. So let me write this problem. So you guys just chill. Thanks for the sub, money, money. Okay. 
Wow, what a beautiful cloud scene. <laughs> so stupid. Look at this paper. All right, let's go. <laughs> a water tank is one third full. Then 21 gallons of water are added to the tank, making it four fifths full. How many gallons could the tank hold if it was completely full? Let's go. <laughs> yeah, you can send me paper, dude. <laughs> Dude, you guys are lucky you guys are studying now because I tell you, dude, in October, a ton of new people are going to come to this channel. See you, April. A ton of new people are going to come to this channel and it's just going to get flooded. I just feel it. So, like, it's going to be so much harder to study not then than it is now. So, you know, just, you know, you guys are here. You guys are crushing it. So just keep cruising, I guess. Oh, he isn't, he isn't lucky studying at midnight. <laughs> I see you later, April. This is a hard problem. Chat got quiet. That's nice. So I know it's good. You guys got it. You can do it. We've done problems like this in the past. <laughs> Dude, I have killed a lot of trees. <laughs> That's a lot of math, bro. It's a lot of math. <laughs> yeah, I will. Dude, trust, trust. I will know the OGs when all the new kids come in October. Trust. Like, lurk more. Oh, it's okay, Phoenix. It's all good. Life's crazy like that. That's okay. Yesterday I had probably the worst stream I've ever done in my life. Yesterday was just bad. I think I did two questions. <laughs> I think I did two questions in total. <laughs> so bad. I was like, I was kind of like afterwards, I was like, why did I, why did I even do that? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah thanks for all you guys who stuck around after yesterday's stream um i went back and watched some of it and i was just like that's it was just really rough well dude i'm gonna be transitioning this channel into an sat channel i think someday so yeah, Tammy's got a good explanation in there. Yeah, I think I have an SAT channel in here somewhere. And so eventually I'm going to do that. Um, so if you guys want to you know, keep studying once you get into your specialized high school, keep studying for the SAT, just stay subbed. Um, yeah, my first step is to get to 1000 subs and then I want to be T-Series. So let's just get to that 1K subs first <laughs> and leave a like. <laughs> um, okay. So let's go over this. Um, you lost a lot of subscribers. <laughs> Did I really? <laughs> I don't know. The stream was bad, dude. I don't know what to say. Okay, Rodney, I see you, bro. All right, so let's go through this. So it was one-third full, then four-fifths full. Let's put it all on the same thing because rather than saying one-third and four-fifths, let's actually change this into fifteenths. So this will be five-fifteenths, and this will be, ooh, twelve-fifteenths. Okay, and so when we put 21 gallons, that means it is the same equivalent as 7 fifteenths. Okay, so 21 gallons equals 7 fifteenths. Okay, so we can divide both of these by 7 if we wanted to. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to divide this by 7. And I'm going to divide this by 7 by seven 
So basically just multiplying it by one over seven. So that cancels out. So one fifteenth equals three gallons. So then I just need to multiply this by 15 because if one fifteenth of the tank is three gallons, then three gallons times 15 of those one fifteenths. Yeah, you guys are gonna get 45 locked in. What should I expect? Well done, dude. Well done. <laughs> <sighs> yeah i know i can buy subs but at the same time i think that's so cringe like ooh, guys thanks for the 100k subs i only spent like ten thousand dollars <laughs> yeah all of a sudden i have a thousand subs dude i have been stuck in 700 land for so long dude i've been stuck in the 700 like 70 780 subs for like so long because the more videos i make the more like notifications go out and people go oh i don't want to hit sub anymore so whatever dude like once i go to area 51 i'm gonna have so many subs that's what i'm gonna get from area 51 is all these subs like i'm just gonna find their head engineer i'm gonna say help me get the 1k subs help me be t-series <laughs> it's fifty thousand dollars for a million subs what's the, even the point like what is even the point you know what i mean like why would you pay that much money for subs just so that you can say that you're popular? That's like, I don't know. That's kind of whack. Um, whatever. All right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look how many, look how many likes I got. I just paid a bot farm in Pakistan to, <laughs> to click on my page a hundred thousand times. All right. So here we go. <laughs> <laughs> do I already have dislikes? <laughs> Why? Why do I get dislikes? I don't know. I guess people are salty when they get one wrong. Our opening up for the SHST, so these kids trust the tutorial more than you trust the tutorial than you? Uh, I don't know. I've been tutoring for over 10 years, dude. Like, I've had kids come from tutorials and go, oh, this is what you're supposed to do? So it's like, I actually, like, people can do classes and stuff or whatever. <laughs> dude. I, dude, did you guys see the Shane Dawson Chuck E. Cheese uh, thing? That was like, that was like, that was so gross, dude. They reused the pizza. There's a Chuck E. Cheese by my old house, and I was just too afraid to go. I really was. Uh, <laughs> okay, all right. So let's see. Um, Oh yeah, another question. Sorry, I'm getting distracted because I just finished all my coffee and I'm like, meow. Um, dude, aren't these questions good though? I think these are such good questions. All right, so let's actually go to an even more recent one um, just to finish up the stream today because I, I think I'm like getting towards the end, bro. I'm like, whoa. I, I like need a sandwich or something. <laughs> I need a sandwich. Um, okay, let's do this one. Dude, all of these handbooks, so crazy. Dude, they used to do crazy questions, like crazy logic questions on the SHSAT. It was kind of... Five people disliked? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Whatever, bro. I'm gonna pretend like I did... I don't even care. Oh. <laughs> I just secretly, as soon as the stream's over, I like... <laughs> go cry in my room. Uh... Oh, we've already done this one. Oh, we have... No, we haven't. Yeah, we've already. Oh, because they reused the math section. Those lazy, lazy, lazy. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. I'm trying to get a. I'm trying to get a hard. I'm trying to get a harder one. All of these are so easy. You guys are just going to crush it. Uh, yeah, these are so easy, some of these. Okay, here's a good question. This is a really good one. Um. 
<laughs> Yanny. All right. So let's see here. Um, okay. Let me write this question in these beautiful clouds, and then we'll do it. Okay, here is the question. Um, okay, hold on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I, you guys, you guys are so smart on these math questions. And then when, and then when I'm, I'm writing the problems, I look, I look back at the back chat. chat. It's not it's not like dumb, the dumbest. <laughs> like, what was this like? Tyler, Tyler, DC, 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 it's like a 200, 200 IQ statement, statement bro. <laughs> oh, is it really static? Static? Uh, 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 that's what 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 Wow. wow. When you just when thought you just couldn't, thought couldn't get, get so lucky. So lucky. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to give you guys this question. I don't understand why the static is happening. I don't get it. I don't get it. I am not a tech genius. I barely can code this game um, that I made. All right. And I just marked up this tablecloth. I hope she doesn't kill me. Okay. I don't think she will. All right. Here we go, bros. If uh, yeah, let's zoom in on this. If Crystal multiplies her age by three and then adds two, she will get a number equal to her mother's age. If M is her mother's age, what is Crystal's age in terms of M? Let's go. Oh, dang. All right, bros.
And if you guys need to check your work, you could always just pick numbers and try it out. You just gotta finesse it. Yep. You just gotta finesse it. Okay, I'll give you guys like a minute more. Let's get it. Aha. Dude, I'm going to try to break the two hour mark. That's my goal. I got, I got 11 minutes. Let's get it. Her mom, her mom is 11. <laughs> Dang, that's a young mom. <laughs> Shit. Okay, let's go over it. Um, <laughs> I swear, dude, the, like the chat like cracks me up so hard. Okay, so there's two ways to do this. We could talk about the straightforward way. But the first way I want to talk about is just the finesse way. So let's actually just go into the finesse way straight off. So Crystal, let's just say something easy. Let's just say Crystal is four. So if she multiplies her age by three, that's 12 plus two. That means mom is 14. Okay, I know mom can't be 14. All right, but we're just talking about let's do this problem. So now I need to get from M to four. So if M is 14, let's plug it into D. That would be 14 over 3 minus 2. Um, that would be 14 over 3 minus 6 over 3. That would be 8 over 3. That does not equal 4. So let's try B. 14 minus 2 over 3. That's 12 over 3. That's 4. That's her age. Bang. So we know that's the answer. That's one way to finesse it. Other way to finesse it, or the other way to actually just do it. So you know that Crystal multiplies her age by three and then adds two and that equals mom. So now we need to isolate C. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna rewrite this because I like working in clean algebra. Y'all y'all know that. All right, that's an M. As I say that, I make a mistake. I'm so dumb. All right, <laughs> look at what is two. Three C, I'll tell you, man, it never gets old. You always gotta keep checking yourself. Divide by three, divide by three. Yeah, we're gonna get C equals M minus two over three, which is also this answer choice B right there. So no matter how you wanna do it, you wanna finesse it by just guess numbers and then plug them in and see which one of these works, great. If you wanna just do it straight up, great. Both of these dudes are gonna get the right answer and that's all that matters, right? So that's all I want you guys to be, to take away. If you guys take away nothing from me, except for the fact that you can finesse a lot of these math problems, then do that, you know what I mean? Um, all right, let me see if I give you one more problem so that we can just end and I can, I can crack the seal on a two hour st super stream. Um, if you guys have been here for two hours, pat yourself on the back. <laughs> absolutely obliterate this mouse smashing that like button <laughs> uh, this is <laughs> dude uh i gotta oh uh, man i need to take a nap that's what i need right now that sounds real good all right let's see this all right so let's get another question up in here really quick and then i'll get out of here uh, oh this is a really good one Oh, this is a good one. Okay, last problem, bros. Get ready.
Okay, bros. Yan has 48 coins consisting a mix of nickels misspelled and dimes. The total value of these coins is $3.90. How many more dimes than nickels does Yan have? I'll give you guys like two minutes to do this. Let's go. Uh, make out hill logarithms will not show up in the SHSAT. Dude, Henry, you've been crushing this. I don't know if this is right, but you've been crushing the streams, like getting all the answer choices in and stuff. Really good job, dude. Give you guys another minute, minute and a half. Yeet. All right. All right, let's wrap it up if you haven't already. A lot of tutors in the chat today. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, that's a good point, Tony. That's a good one. Oh, that's sick, Jordan. I want to show that. Why did it? I don't know why YouTube blocked that comment. That's nice, dude. Okay, let's let's hit it. All right. So this question, believe it or not, is a system of equations, and we'll talk about it. So we know that he's got nickels and he has dimes, and in total, that's going to be forty-eight coins. And we know that, let's see, however many nickels he has will be, should we? Yeah, we'll do 0.05 times however many nickels plus 0.1 times however many dimes is going to equal $3.90. So we know, oops, almost just totally just tipped up my coffee. Oh my God, that was so close. Okay, all done. So we know for a fact that, I mean, I'd like to work with dimes first. So let's get this isolated. Dimes equals 48 minus N. So we now know what D equals. Um, so I guess we could plug it in. So 0.05N plus 0.1 times 48 minus N equals 390. Okay, now we got to distribute 0.05N plus point, what would that be? 4.8 minus 0.1 N equals 390. Did I do that right? 
let's see, 48.1. Yeah, I did that right. So we can keep going now. So we can combine these. So what is 0 0.05 minus 0 0.1? Negative 0 0.05n plus 4.8 equals 3.90. I'm going to subtract 4.8 from each side. One. Oh, that doesn't work. Oh, whoops. Doy. Oh, that works. So negative 0.05 n equals negative 0.9. I'm going to scoot. Did this work out? Am I doing this wrong? Uh, I'm going to scoot it over two places and I'm going to make it positive. So 5 n equals 90. N equals, what would that be, uh, 18? Okay, that looks good to me. So that means we got 18 nickels. Um, 48 minus the 18 nickels means that we have 30 dimes. So 30 dimes minus the 18. Dudes, how did you all crush this? What is... Yeah. Good job, dudes. Wow. And it's two hours. Yeah. 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 Super stream. Super stream. Yeah. Good job, dudes. Um, you guys crushed this, bro. Like, you guys crushed the stream today. Absolutely obliterated it. Absolutely destroyed. <laughs> uh, really good job, dudes. You guys have answered questions from 2012, 2013, 2014, and 2015 with no problems. Really good job. All right, bros. This is the end of the road. <laughs> I'm done. I am done. This is my fifth tutoring session of the day. And no more. The iconic ending. Bye-bye, fellow kids. <laughs> Bye-bye, fellow kids. <laughs> That's like the... Uh, what is that meme? I keep forgetting it. What is it? Oh, yeah. How do you do, fellow kids? <laughs> That's like my life. Uh, yeah so really good stuff dudes really really awesome you guys crushed it today you guys should be super proud summer studying crushing math problems you guys are really kicking it man awesome 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 to see all right that was the super stream yeah to make up for my totally trash stream yesterday <laughs> don't ever watch yesterday's stream don't ever watch it i'm gonna keep it up but don't watch it it was really bad um, to answer your question, Sports Show, we're hitting it every day at 6 p.m. on the weekdays. Yesterday was just like a weird one. See you, Shad. All right, dude. So, yeah, definitely, 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 definitely subscribe the channel. Um, yeah, we're, we're, I'm just trying to get it, dude. I'm grinding. You guys are grinding. It's all going to be good. All right, I got to go. It's time. I'm going to leave up the chat for a little bit so you guys can kick it, but I'm out of here. Good stuff today, bros. Really nice, nice, nice.